Hi everyone. Kovian welcomes you to the session. Today we are going to discuss on the topic embarking on journeys with HCM cloud checklist. Let me introduce myself. My name is Nikhil Patil and I'm associated with Kovian as Associate Customer Success Manager with over three plus years of experience in various HCM modules. Before getting into the topic, I would like to give a brief introduction about Covian. Covian is a business transformation and technology solution partner. We are headquartered in UK and spread across USA, Philippines, and India. We are the Oracle boutique partners and specialized in HCM Cloud, ERP Cloud, and PeopleSoft application, offering end-to-end -end implementation, support, upgrade, and enhancement services. Our experience talks about servicing 45 plus countries where we did multi-country implementation and rollout. We have executed 200 plus engagements and have customers across different domains with a strong team of 200 plus consultants. Our portfolio on Oracle Cloud talks about our experiences across technologies of Oracle ERP Cloud, HCM Cloud, Talio and Oracle Recruiting Cloud. We have executed 50 plus transformation projects with a strong team of Oracle certified consultants into implementation, upgrade and support engagements. With customers in different segments like IT and IETS, staffing, automobiles, BSFI and education. With more than 12 plus years of experience in Oracle landscape, our expertise spans across multi-industry vertical projects accomplished through agile methodology. We are the first boutique partners in Oracle Cloud Excellence Implementation Program. Let's take a deep look on today's webinar topic. Here are the major points that we are going to discuss one by one. So firstly, we would start with overview of journeys, which includes what is journey, how it is different from an existing checklist. Next, we will be checking on the getting started with journeys. So how do we enable the journeys and how can we assign it to the particular employee, manager, or admins? So checklist templates and assigning journeys to employees. So what is con contextual journeys? What is the individual journey? And what is guided journey? All the, these would be explained in the fourth slide. And uh, side by side, I'd be showcasing few demos so that you can understand the journeys in a better way. So finally, I'd be helping you with the benefits of journey, why you need to take the journeys. And if you have any questions, which would be answered at the end of the session. So let me take, uh, take you to the overview of journeys. So first of all, what is journey? A journey is something like it is a one-stop app available in HCM that aims to facilitate employees during their personal and professional transition. Journey enables the users to manage their task effectively in a single application where the users can use checklist of any category, for example, pre-boarding, onboarding, off-boarding, and they also can track or manage their task more effectively. So while configuring this journey, so we can configure this for an employee, for manager, or for HR, and as well as admin as well. And post enabling this journey, so a separate tabs would be applicable for any journeys, for example, overview, my task, my journeys, what is the progress, everything can be seen in journey. So how do we enable this journey? So a simple navigation I have given over here. So we need to navigate to setup and maintenance. So we have manage administrator profile values, search for that one and search for ORA per journeys enabled and mark it to Y immediately your, you would be getting a journeys as displayed here. So once we enable journeys, we can quickly create our own journey tasks for a team and assign it to employees. So let us quickly check uh, how can we assign a task and how to uh, how, how can employees see that one. Post enabling the uh, ORA per journeys enabled, uh, uh, existing checklist, all the existing checklist would be converted into a journey as shown in this uh, image. So earlier it was a checklist task and which has been changed as journeys. So let us create a simple journeys so that uh, we can assign it to an employee and showcase uh, to 
employees. Okay, so I have logged in for one of the instance where I have uh, logged in as uh, employee. So before we show it, we have configured a journeys and assigned it uh, for an employee. So since I'm an employee, I'm navigating to me and under me, we can get the journeys option. So I'll click on this journey. So once we click on the journey, we end up landing in the journeys, uh, a special page. So in this journey, we can easily check who, who has been given with what task, how many tasks have been assigned to him. And I can, there's a simple filters, which is open, overdue, completed and onboarding. So under open, I can see in my journey, I have three onboarding journeys has been enabled, which is zero of one has been completed. So how do we take this journey task? So just clicking on this onboarding, it will take you inside the journey task. So he, here you can see the task completed uh, icon would be there. How much has been completed? Zero out of one is available. So I'll just straight away, we'll go and check what are the tasks. So I can see only one task has been assigned on onboarding for me. That is watching a video. So I'll just click on this arrow. So I get to see a different uh, a link has been uh, given over here. So this is a journey. So once I check this one, so it's just a uh, link wherein we can just see this particular uh, uh, image. So I'm clicking on done. So once we complete this particular journey, so it shows one out of one has been completed. So, and you can see the completed date as well. So uh, this has been completed. So I'll click on back. So since we have completed that uh, particular journey, so it is telling it no task has been assigned to me and under my task. So it is not there. Uh, so these are the different tasks which have been assigned earlier. So which have closed uh, recently. So all these can be checked. So that is something uh, uh, called as the check journeys. So for example, now uh, this was assigned for me by my manager to complete this onboarding checklist. So what if I need to create my own checklist, uh, my own journeys so that I need to complete them? Yes, we have an option. So just to create this uh, particular uh, thing. So I'll just quickly navigate to the same section. So instead of going to my journey, there's an option called explore. Click on this explore. So once you click on this explore, you get an option to create a journey at the top. So I'm clicking on create journey. So it is telling, do you want to use an uh, existing journey or you want to create a new journey? So either the existing journey, I can assign it to myself and complete it or else I can create a journey. So I click on create journey. So I'll just add a category as uh, let we'll give it as an onboarding and I'll give it as new task. Or my reference as I'm giving the naming over here. So if required, you can set the background image for this particular journey by selecting add. And what are the tasks need to be assigned? So task I'm selecting. So any any of the tasks can be uh, set here. And task name I'll I'll select as. Uh, watch videos and who should perform this uh, user should perform this the performer name everything can be set owner who should be the owner he should be line manager or initiator how much duration so once i select all this one so i'll just simply need to add it so this particular journey would be added to uh, under me so once i save this one and come back i can see in under overview uh, one of the journey would be assigned for myself. That is something called as uh, creating individual uh, journey. And coming back to the uh, new type of uh, journey, which is contextual journey. So what is contextual journey? So with this contextual journey, you can simply uh, help the user to create a uh, journey based on the particular action. So if I'm 
trying to perform a particular action only then this particular journey should be applicable for example i am trying to uh, promote my reportage in that particular time i need to complete certain set of journeys once completion only then i need to promote this particular employee in that case we go for the contextual journey so in order to showcase a demo we have on, already configured a, a resignation related journey so what happens is whenever we try to submit a resignation we can directly do that one but here we have configured in such a way that so once we go for under me so there is an show more click on show more so we have a resignation so what happens if the journey was not enabled directly a resignation page would have been triggered for uh, opened for us but in this case since we have enabled a contextual journey which should showcase the journey should be completed that is the reason a journey page is being uh, added so since it is a journey part it is taking a bit time to load so let me refresh and take it so i'm going and adding a resignation okay or also a uh, resignation uh, we can do or else uh, let us take an add absence so maybe uh, we whenever we are trying to add an absence a journey should be completed is the task i'm just clicking on add absence so instead of taking me directly to the add absence page it is asking me to complete this journey only then you will be able to add the absence so how we can use this is so for example i need to know what are the steps need to be taken before i take any absence so for that reason there is a simple uh, journey they have configured we have configured so i'm just clicking on start this journey so once i click this start journey so it shows me what all the journeys i'd be assigned with okay so uh, once we see this one the add absence and uh, absence information should be completed so i'm just clicking on this absence information it is just showing me what are the absence information uh, i need to complete few questionnaires which we have configured up to my request time giving here then when did i complete this on 23rd so i'll just click on done so once i click on this done so only then uh, it will open the second tab which is add absence so i'm clicking on add absence it will go for so i can give whichever uh, leave i need so this can be applied so before without submitting these uh, uh, journeys completion i will not be able to add the absence this is something called a contextual journey so similarly for promotion for hiring an employee for all this one this journey can be set up so uh, going back to uh, the next slide which is something called as a guided journey so what is guided journey guided journey is nothing but so we can create a tutorials or policies links can be configured uh, so that if someone is not knowing the procedure so they can follow this particular guided journey they can follow this one and uh, then uh, this can be handled so let me quickly showcase that guided journey i'm navigating to my application so 
over here and clicking on resignation. So it is uh, taking me to the uh, journeys page. So once I click on the resignation, so I can see that one uh, in before you uh, uh, apply the resignation. So first the contextual journey is opening, which is something like, so to apply the resignation, you need to complete this particular two uh, journey task, which is submit the survey, watch the videos, only then your resign option will come. So I'm clicking on submit survey. So once I click on the start this journey, so task I need to do is three, it is showing, submit the sur survey is there. So I'm clicking on this. What do you think, do you? So it is asking me before I terminate, uh, give a promotion survey for whom you want to promote. So I'm giving uh, some name as uh, Alex or something. So it is just in a questionary section, anything you can uh, configure over here. So post that one, it is asking to drag and drop files. So I'm clicking on done. Post that one, here's a watch video section. So I just go to the website. So here it is asking me to watch this video. So I just, after watching, I click on done. So now my resignation page is appearing. So I click on this resignation. Okay, here, uh, since I was explaining you on the guided journey, so you can see there's a guide me. So before you apply this resignation, what is that you need to uh, may, uh, watch? So there's an attached document section we have made. So if I click on attached document, you can just uh, see these particular documents. So go through these documents. So you, you will get an understanding what are the steps you need to follow is the men is we have mentioned. Apart from that one, there's a video also. If I click this, particular or watch video. This is something like a guided. So for guiding purpose, they have kept this journey. So this has been enabled. So this was related to the guided journey. So, and uh, personal journey. So uh, it is something like contextual journey. Uh, so you can set to your personal journey. Okay. That uh, you you got to know the idea how to configure the journeys uh, in the system. So we can either click on the contextual journey or create a personal journey or any guided journey also can be set. What is the benefits of this journey? So we get an option to know the uh, progress of each task. So for example, one out of three has been completed was a progress bar we were getting. So that is uh, ready. Uh, you can easily understand whichever are pending and uh, easy to navigate and completion of the task is uh, uh, user friendly and also uh, you 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 can't restrict only for a particular category you are open to work for any of the categories uh, so all the categories are supported inside journey and uh, whenever you enable a journey automatically the existing checklist in the uh, instance would be getting changed into the journey and instead of an old checklist look you will get a new advanced ui uh, journeys look would be added over here. These are the benefits of journey. So as I mentioned, uh, it supports all the categories. So easy to uh, navigate for the task and completion. It supports uh, all the, any new images uh, can be set for the landing page. So visual indicators, badge, and any search can be done. So these are the few benefits of uh, journeys. So we have advanced features, something like uh, based on the security role, we can allocate the journeys based on the particular uh, uh, user role we can allocate or any business unit. So these are all the advanced features which we can uh, help you down the line explaining it. And this is a simple uh, session which we had uh, uh, conducted. So let me know for any questions. So we are ready to answer. You can even drop your questions at my mail ID which would be shared uh, after this one. Thank you so much.